These tobacco plants are grown in the laboratories for Baya Phytho Farm, a startup company of CU Innovation Hub, Chulalongkorn University. The core competency of the plant lies in its ability to produce proteins essential for developing mass quantities of COVID-19 vaccines under the shortest amount of time. And we kind of recombinant genetically modified the bacteria to make it infect the plants that then finally the plants can produce the protein that we're interested in. And then when COVID-19 comes, we use this plant to produce the, the protein, which is COVID-19 vaccines of interest. Then we use that to test in animals, several animals models, and that's the core concept of the technology. The progress of the developmental techniques for producing COVID-19 vaccines from tobacco plants is promising. This has led to the establishment of plans for the domestic production of vaccines for Thai people in the near future. And then we plan to go into human clinical trial in around mid-year of the, the June this year. We aim to have the vaccine for Thai people by the end of this year or beginning of 2022. So right now we are doing the construction of the, the plant, the factory, uh, in another building in Jula University. And that factory can produce up to one to five million doses uh, per month of COVID-19 vaccine. Besides providing a solution to the pandemic, the domestic production of COVID-19 vaccines underscores the competency of Thailand to develop a secure national health care system for the country's future. I think it's very important for, for, for Thailand to have this kind of technology in place in Thailand that owns by you know, the Thai citizens. If we have this technology platform in place, we can change the whole platform to produce a new vaccine uh, to respond to those uh, new disease, new mutants, or if even if no mutants occur and we need to uh, use the vaccines every single year, then we have those security in Thailand, which is like a very important thing.